What is good hunters? Welcome to another video. I have a very, very cool video for you today. The hunting community is amazing. Let me tell you. The knowledge you gain from these from other hunters, it's it's amazing. It really helps you take your game to another level. And this is what happened today while I was in Discord. The topic came up about the spooking uh, mechanics in Way of the Hunter and how broken it felt. And it sparked a conversation which led to solution. This is why I recommend you all, you know, all the new players, veteran players, join the Discord. There's so much knowledge being shared and something we thought that was broken and probably does need some tweaking, but overall, something that we thought was broken really is brilliant. It's a brilliant mechanic and for me, I've just um, I've just realized how amazing this is because I have over a thousand hours in this game and I never really got this mechanic down. The stalking mechanic and the spooking mechanic. So I want to give a couple shout outs here to three hunters that's in the Discord. And what really started this conversation is that we started talking about the spooking mechanic and a hunter, but by the, by the, I can't say his name properly, but it's spelled at K-A-K-2-R. He posted a link, which linked to a Reddit thread talking about the spooking misconception in the game. And let me tell you, it's a good read. I'm going to have this linked in the description. And I want you guys to really take a, a look and, and read it because it, it will, for the most part, blow your mind. If you're not, if you don't know about the mechanic in the game, because it blew my mind. I never knew this in depth about the, the hunting mechanic and it has really, really taken my game to a new level. And now what I'm about to say here is nothing new. I mean, these, these hunters have been talking about this mechanic since the game came out. It's just new for me because I only today realized and understood it fully. And the, the mechanic I'm talking about is basically stalking and spooking animals. The problems we, we have had and we have noticed is that when we approach animals, for some reason they spook so easily, we couldn't figure out why. Why when I, when I think I'm doing the right thing, taking my time, approaching an animal, they still spook. Never understood it. And the hunter that goes by the name of Liquid Fire, he mentioned something interesting. He says that it feels as if it's 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 like a meter, it's like a hunting meter, which builds up as you move and as you, you come closer to the animals. Uh, any movement without stopping seems to fill this meter. Stop and go seems to be the way to go. And he, I think he nails it. Because I think the problem is when we approach animals, we are not really taking cues as to what the animal gives us. We just focus on our distance from the animal, how much noise we are making, and positioning ourselves for the good shot. We're not taking into consideration that the animals are giving us cues as to their status. Some animals, depending on what direction they're walking, they would stop, they would look at us, they would take a few steps, they would eat, they would stop, look at us again, and we're not really taking these cues into consideration. And these cues are telling us how alert the animal is, what state the animal is in. So when we're approaching these animals, if we take these cues into consideration, we will have a, a more successful hunt. Alligator Shoes brought up a very good point, adding to this, to what Liquid Fire said. He said it, it's, it absolutely, it, it's absolutely how it works. If I see the herd, I routinely walk to within 200 meters, crouch to around 150, stopping, then I hear or, or see them alert, and then call or shoot from there. Any amount of continued movement, 
no matter what position or speed, after alerting them is pretty much a guaranteed spook. This is exactly what I have been experiencing. No matter what I do, how well I feel I'm hidden, how, how well I keep my distance, they spook. And we have come to the conclusion that you have to adapt the stop and go theory. And what that is basically is exactly what it says, stop and go. When you are stalking an animal, you need to take your extreme time. This can last up to an hour, it can take hours. You need to take your time, listen for the cues, listen for the status, wait till the status is changing from alert to calm, and you need to slowly take your time and advance on these animals. And if you follow these, this, this, if you follow this stop and go analogy, you will get within close proximity of your animals and you won't spook them as much. This baffled me because for me, as long as I'm within range and I feel that I'm, I'm stalking them, you know, to the best I can, I would be in too much of a hurry. I would walk, stop, walk, stop, not paying attention to the animal status. And this has changed my hunt. I've tested what they've said, and this is amazing. So, so happy to, you know, to be around players who share knowledge and really help us take our, you know, understand the game more. And this is just the beginning. We're going to be learning a lot more about this game the more we play. No matter how many, how many hours I've had in this game, I'm always learning something new from other hunters. So I hope this has really helped you guys in understanding the misconception that the spooking mechanics in the game are bugs. They're not bugs. Maybe they need a little tweaking. I wouldn't doubt it. But overall, this mechanic is just like in real life. Again, if you read the Reddit thread, he's a real life hunter and he will explain to you exactly how he prepares for a hunt leading up to the days of hunting and his experience while hunting. Hunting animals that are behind ridges, you know, behind hills, which again we see as bugs or not bugs. So I hope this clears up the misconception that we have that this game is riddled with bugs, which I mean, really we need to get accustomed and used to this mechanic because most of us are coming from Call of the Wild and we're not used to having these type of mechanics. We can creep up, we can creep up on animals with ease, not in Way of the Hunter. You need to apply real hunting skills and be patient. Patience is number one. And it's what I've learned. My hunts will never be the same. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be way more enhanced. I can't wait to put this more into practice. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video.